Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, February 8, 2020. Got a free college basketball pick coming up on this report. Hey, first a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. And if you've been waiting to do it, it isn't a bad time to do it on Saturday because I've got my first eight star college basketball play of the entire season going on Saturday slate. We head into Saturday 60% run with our last 76 college basketball sides. That goes back almost two months now to uh, about the third week of December. Uh, but again, 60% run, last 76 college basketball sides, and I've got uh, the eight-star play, first one of the season going on Saturday slate. My college basketball card will be posted at DocSports.com on my homepage at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Same time, by the way, for week one of my XFL plays. We've got two plays. You're going to get the entire weekend on one report, and that again will be ready at 11:30 a.m. Eastern, 8:30 a.m. Pacific on Saturday. Anytime after that, you'll get both of my plays in this weekend's XFL, uh, NBA 1 p.m. Eastern, NHL 1 p.m. Eastern. You know the drill, uh, so don't miss out. And by the way, if you are watching this video late Friday night, uh, just a quick note: my UFC card uh, is posted and or will be posted at 11 p.m. Pacific time on Friday night. Anytime after that, you can grab it right up until the start of the card on Saturday. We're on a 70% fight run and in 2020 alone this calendar year through the first month plus uh, first two cards uh, we've gained about six and a half units so far in the UFC so don't miss out again UFC available Friday night 11 p.m. Pacific and anytime after that and of course the big college basketball day that eight star play will be posted at 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific let's stay hot in college basketball passed yesterday in college baskets let's get right back into it on Saturday and a free pick here by the way, hey, check out my free pick in the XFL. We got the video up, and I have another uh, college basketball uh, free pick video that that's also up right now. So you know, look at those two after you look at this one, and if you agree, jump on board. How about that? All right, this one is a Big East battle between St. John's and the Creighton Blue Jays. Game being played in Omaha. Real bad effort or game last time out for Creighton. Uh, it was quite predictable. In fact, we had Providence in that game, and they whipped Creighton 73 to 56. The Blue Jays were fresh off that big road win over Villanova where they beat him by 15 points, jumped into the top 25, which by the way, this team should be anyway, but jumped into the top 25 and then had to face Providence on the road. Very tough task. And uh, Ed Cooley, boy, he just does a fantastic job of getting his team ready. And they sprung the so-called upset for us. Uh, we predicted that uh, and, and bet on the fact that Providence was going to win. But the host St. John's here. Listen, what happened to Creighton? They were flat. They were off the big win over Nova. They seem to be celebrating that win even a day after the game. And also, uh, when they went up against Providence, the Friars threw a zone at Creighton. Now, Creighton's usually good from the deep perimeter. I mean, they're outstanding. You know, they've got the second most made three-point in college basketball going back the last nine plus seasons. But how about this? They threw the zone at them. Creighton's flat. They didn't shoot well. Their bench, which averages over 14 points per game, scored zero points against the Friars. I expect a bounce back here. St. John's not good on the road. They've only covered three of the last 14. And as far as Creighton is concerned, 23 and 10 against the spread at home against teams that play less than 400 basketball on the road. So they usually take care of business, not only winning outright at home, but covering the spread in games that are uh, so-called supposed to. Uh, as far as Saturdays, I'm not big on saying, hey, uh, a team is 13-3 and three on a Thursday or 15-5 and five on a Wednesday. I don't care about that. But when it is a weekend game, a Saturday, because the, the preparation time, the time you got to get up, the time you got to get to the gym, you're usually starting your games around 7 o'clock local time, whether it be on the East Coast or West Coast. So Saturday is a different animal. You got to mix up your schedule a little bit. Not all teams can handle that. So this is kind of one the one day of the week, Saturdays, where I look and see how teams have done on that particular day. And Creighton is 7-2 and two against the spread in their last nine Saturday games. Now listen, that's not the be-all, end-all by any means. Kind of icing on the cake, just 
to see how teams do uh, when their schedule is thrown off a little bit by playing on a Saturday. So our free pick, we'll get it back to Creighton Blue Jays to bounce back, minus the points over St. John's. Hey, don't forget to check out my other two uh, free pick videos. Again, we've got XFL. There's a video for that and also another college basketball free pick. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Go grab that eight star on Saturday morning. And listen, I do appreciate those of you who have jumped on board over the uh, year and a half or so that I've been doing these videos. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column. We'll be right back here probably by 11 p.m. Pacific at the latest Saturday night with a free pick for Sunday. We'll talk to you then.